welcome, ladies and gentlemen, um, to another series of the Farmers League. And uh, we have Food Please against Fredinovich on Nomad. Um, quite interesting matchup. Both of the players are uh, actually the favorites of the, the whole Farmers League. Fredinovich became very strong in the recent years. And Food Please, as uh, always, was strong in the last games. Also, they practiced a lot, not having any ch children. So, I see uh, quite a lot of potential there. And we see uh, what will make this game certainly very interesting. We have very close uh, TC placements. And I'm sure good to be the king. see already um, this orange yes. rectangle line here marking. Um, the TC is nearby actually, and I'm sure we will have early naming for sure. And yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really curious to see this game um, because also the dock positions are very close to each other. So <laughs> uh, we will have like fish laming and deer and boar laming in the early stages of the game. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Fridinovich should right away start to kill as much boar as possible to uh, avoid food please to get it so so far a villager is coming forward yeah. knowing that uh, there's not too much uh, potential of the tc to fire arrows so far um, and we see the first uh, villager villager fight here very well done he lures the villager into the TC very very nicely done but uh, not successful there Enemies. and um, yeah from here he should start to immediately get as much force as possible to uh, so he sees this boar the other boar is uh, out of view for him uh, at least so far and also um, he should yeah, try to lame him uh, as, as fast as possible. Or maybe uh, start with some defensive walls. Maybe a wall here from uh, the bush to the tree line here. Um, but anyway, what do we see? We see a massive uh, wood start for both of the players. Uh, both players want to go heavily on water, I, I suppose. I'm not sure if they know each other's stock position yet, because this would also be a potential will fight uh, if they notice it anyway what, what? do we see food please getting housed um, quite normal procedure there um, and yeah Freddy Inti. already with Lou uh, which is not the worst choice with uh, this close uh, TC placement so far both players quite passive uh, no villagers Ooh, yeah. laming, no villagers warning. Uh, quite interesting start, actually. I didn't expect this. Um, both players, are, of course, going on, on to water. Um, but yeah, food please is now going for the hunt, or uh, is starting to lame. I think um, he will go just around uh, the base and uh, start to wall. Um, at least as far as I know him. And uh, Freddy, extremely passive there. Going for the second boar. I'm not sure if. Okay, this boar is already lured, but potential boar here. And, well, this is quite far, but could be potential boar as well. And, yeah. What will Footies do? He is scouting with his villager. Of course, he will have. The idle time for this villager as well. Um, Freddy <laughs> very nicely um, locking the boar with the goose. Interesting choice there. But um, not too much things are happening right now. I mean, I this is blocking the stone here, but this will not be too effective because Freddy already has a stone, which is huge in this matchup. Um, also, food piece has a stone, so both can easily go for towers. And um, I think, yeah, it 
it could be a potential to block the gold of the opponent uh, because ah well food beast has a back back gold this is huge but uh, freddy has not so if food beast is just walling in these two gold uh placements freddy will not have access to gold unless he goes uh, to very far distance um, but I'm not sure if Fuglis is really aware, aware of this. Of course, he sees this gold and this gold, but he, uh, he could not know that there is no, no back gold for, for Freddy. But anyway, it would be huge to just wall it in. He's now limiting the, the uh, Ibex. And um, yeah, so far, nothing is happening. Um, both going heavily on water. Freddy. Maybe committing too much onto the shorefish there, but um, uh, and now they go to a far distance. If you do not scout the the closest fish, uh, fishing ships are unfortunately uh, doing weird things there. So it might be that they even go for this shorefish there because it's the closest fish they see right now. Um, we will see if Freddy is is getting aware of this as, at some point because this is very unfortunate you lose your main food eco there and uh, yeah uh, as you might expect this might not be too efficient to fish here with the fishing boat anyway we have um, forward villages of he's going for the hunt um, and yeah. furthermore Freddy is not noticing it. Very unfortunate. Um, food piece on the other side. At least he is lucky. Um, he might not have the same issue as uh, Freddy is having. He is now uh, pulling back his fishing boat. But this is a precious, precious time there, uh, which he loses. Not getting to feudal because he lost his his uh, whole food eco for like two to three minutes and um, okay he is going going to feudal but at some point he's going to feudal and food piece is not and also food piece is far away from feudal um, I am interested what might the reasons be for this misbalance of the, the eco uh, I mean he could be earlier to feudal than, than uh, Freddy and not being housed that heavily. I mean, Freddy, now we're doing the right thing. He's now building galleys, which I don't like. And uh, maybe this watchtower is a little bit too ballsy there. But, at I mean, a watchtower here would have made more sense. But anyway, he is uh, going forward using his. Uh, his feudal age timing and food piece still needs two minutes to, to get up so what will food piece do okay he can simply go to an <coughs> another woodland he's already not on he's also not on, on stone yet and freddy now um, going onto water with with galleys and onto shorefish unfortunately again but yeah we see a big exodus of uh, food pieces villages of the woodland um, and now Freddy's doing the right thing blocking this gold this might be blocked as well maybe blocking even the stone um, and without the stone this will not even uh, build any counter towers at least not more than one and um, yeah put Fred Inovich now building the market and uh, Plexmith and having quite healthy resources for um, getting up to the, the castle age just in the moment when food piece went up. So food piece now going for the barracks, getting late as well here uh, near the gold. Not sure what, what this type of lame was, but building palisade walls to wall in the villages and finally the tower or what i'm not sure anyway he could have built a tower here i mean he 
he has stone nearby, so um, he could have done this, but uh, his plan right now is to go to castle and uh, go heavily up the stone to drop him forward castle. When he, once he reaches castle age, he, he just will uh, drop a forward castle. When if he's not wasting all the, the stone in the watchtowers. I mean, this is not the moment and Indeed. also not a very correct placement. I mean, what is he... No, uh, really. Yeah, well, okay, he is no. laming the stone a little bit. I'm not sure. I, I don't see the possible range. The stone could be... Might anyway, at least the, the, the three tiles here, I guess. But... Yeah, Fredino, it should now... Um, Concentrate on building a castle, yeah, but he is not. He is no just um, stubborn with watchtowers, which might also be uh, not the worst choice. Um, but on the other side, we see Footbees also going into castle. And ah, I, I missed this moment. This is very, very nicely done by, by Footbees, actually. should finish the, the, the watchtower. <laughs> I'm not sure what, what this is actually. Why is he not finishing the watchtower? He's repairing the palace walls instead. He could just finish the, the watchtower. Anyway, Radimich is building very ballsy watchtowers. Um, this might be just denied by Manchester. But he has anyway enough stone to build a castle. And now fighting very nicely back with villages. Um, very nicely done, and then he can just place a castle here with all of the villagers, or maybe here, maybe, maybe do not do it that ballsy, maybe this is enough. But on the other side, yeah, like what I see here, um, Fruitpiece laid the gold, um, now killing all the gold mining villagers. And yeah, this is what I said in the beginning, okay, this gold is mineable. Uh, close up, so if this had been laid, um, there would be no gold access at all for Freddy. But anyway, stone might be sufficient in this moment. Um, you could just gather enough stone for a second castle. And, um, yeah, simply drop another castle here. Uh, Fuki is now going for a monastery, which I find interesting because what is he doing with monks there? Freddy does not even have a single. Oh, I'm like, he has a knight. Okay, well, maybe the monastery is not the worst choice. But it might be that it would be better to save your own base first before being religious. Anyway, the TC is getting down. Uh, he's expanding to the north. Uh, a single knight would uh, serve a lot here. I'm not sure if Freddy is aware of this. Um, now, now being on this goal, we see villager numbers quite close, military numbers also close. But um, yeah, this is denying the fact that uh, he is having uh, a castle in his face. <laughs> the the stone mining villages are quite ballsy underneath the, the burning TC. I mean, they could have at least waited a little bit and gathered stone here before it was killed, but. Anyway, they will have enough stone uh, soon to, to build another castle just here. Another two ballsy watchtower, this could not simply be denied immediately uh, by food, please. Um, on water, what do we have? Uh, Freddy. Denied food, please, water. At least for a moment. Um, he has the galleys, he has the advantage. Food please does not have a single fire galley as far as I see. And uh, now we have Gibetos, which I like quite a lot. Food uh, please now converting some, some knights um, successfully, unfortunately, for uh, Freddy. Uh, but yeah, Freddy still in the driver's seat. Food please. Not even having a TC, as far as I know. So um, he cannot even build a single villager there. Um, also, he is not building anything. See, he is, he 
economy is in shambles. And just two villagers are mighty gold. Uh, he's just awaiting the next castle drop of Freddy, um, which will come quite certainly. Um, constructing now at XTC, uh, but also yes. Freddy is expanding there with the second TC. And, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. So. Yeah, interesting game, but uh, we know these games, or these type of games, um, when we think Footbiz is done, but somehow he comes back. Um, so it's not lost yet for him, uh, but for sure it will quite be quite tough to uh, go back in this situation, actually. I mean, Freddy has two working TCs, he's building two battles, which is yeah. quite a nice unit. If it's micro, micro properly, and uh, Fubis is trying to get back on water, um, and at the same time has to uh, withstand a quite strong pressure here by by uh, Fredinovich. Anyway, Fubis could drop a castle to secure at least this base. I mean, uh, drop the castle. I'm not sure, maybe not too ballsy, maybe here, and you have a secured gold and secured woodland. And, um, yeah, going back, back on water at this moment is certainly not the worst idea, because um, Fredinovich had not committed too much there. He had just built some minor, minor um, galleys, minor numbers of galleys. I like the castle placement there. It could be denied somehow by a watchtower I feel, or by uh, a counter castle, by all of the villagers. And if Freddy is noticing it, I'm not sure if they um, face the battle right now and are not um, looking at this uh, place of the map. And also it feels like Freddy's not noticing the, the fire gale he's working on his stock. So, Freddy will lose a TC, this helps not too much with three TCs. Um, and Freddy having that battles with at least one upgrade. Um, not the worst. This can simply be denied by him. The Siege Ranger with some ramps might be enough. Um, anyway, Freddy is going forward with the two battles. He can do it, uh, he can micro these battles quite properly and then the knights are not worth anything and even the monk is not worth anything. And uh, what's decent? So I'm sorry I had to restart the recording because my disc was full and uh, the recording was just stopped. So yeah, this will be a disaster for food please. All the battles just running underneath the tower. Uh, killing all the villagers there. I mean, the tower will get finished, but not all of the villagers will fit in there. And this is a disaster. This might be also even the GG move there. I mean, we know Food Piece is not giving up that fast, but uh, the battles will certainly follow, or hopefully follow these these villagers, and then even this TC will get, get denied. And, also, even the, the fishing economy was not hit by Foodbees so far. I mean, he has hit or destroyed this dog, but this dog is not yet attacked, and um, this TC is getting denied. And I'm not sure. I mean, it's 25 villagers to 60. It's quite obvious that Freddy will certainly win this game if he is not too stubborn on attacking this TC there. And uh, he has. Oh, I mean, he might see uh, this uh, deserted place here and think about it. That a TC is placed there by by food piece. So we'll see if he's going there because yeah, it seems like he's spotted this placement here. And uh, yeah, so. The points, the score is quite 
it's quite obvious that uh, Freddy is still is still having the, the edge. So, what else could I say? I mean, Rupees now looking for the fish economy, not finding the fishing boats. The fishing boat will be just uh, placed to another location, yeah, which is also not the worst location with a lot of uh, deep sea fish. And yeah, actually, it's boring from this point of the game. It's just obvious that uh, Foopies cannot win and uh, Freddy should even click up to Imp, which he's doing. And uh, <laughs> Freddy now realizing the TC location. Uh, yeah, simple castle drop here. And uh, this is. The finishing blow for food piece. So not too much things are happening. This castle is still existing. It could be a simply ramped down by a single ram there. The food piece finally chasing down the the really fishing dog. But it's very boring to cast this game in this moment. Two monks are going down. They uh, could not have contributed anyway uh, to the victory of Food Please because against Gebetos it's quite senseless to start a conversion. Um, but Food Please stubborn, stubbornly staying in this game. Freddy. Now booming ahead, going for all the economy upgrades. Um, imp. A single forward castle might be might be it. I'm not sure if he's like over committing to the eco boom in this very moment. Um, anyway, what he still has is the fishing economy, which is hunted down by the Gemettos very nicely. Um, done here because this is the main food eco for, for food beast there. Um, he has some berry bushes but they might not be as effective as the, the deep sea fish there. So nicely done by the Gibettos. And um, yeah now Freddy should not consider going back onto water. He should just finish food beast on land. And yeah I mean is not producing any military unit. He has not a defensive castle near his base. He is not even close to Imperial Age. Uh, Freddy will go with a massive trebuchet uh, blow on the TCs, hopefully, and kill all the villagers. Um, but maybe Food Please learn too much from Der Vasal, who is also never giving up. And uh, I think. Maybe he's just practicing for game two and game three and game four. Um, I mean, if you don't know it, we have uh, play all four game series. So it doesn't matter if you win the first two or three games. Um, you have to play all four. <laughs> um, and maybe he's, he's practicing too much food piece at this moment. He could save his energy for all the other games to come. And uh, maybe win. I mean, this is the boss game. Call the GG, please. Do it for the viewers. I mean, this game was over 10 minutes ago. Especially now with so four trebuchets on the way. And I'm sure chemistry as well and stuff like that. Yeah. So the Gibettos, I love this unit actually. Um, they could just chase the villagers where, wherever they go and uh, <sighs> this seems like a next escape TC which might cause another five minutes of this game but uh, I'm sure pretty which will notice it quite soon and simply deny this TC as well
that the GG is called. So nicely, nicely done, my Freddy. Um, I'm really curious to see the next uh, three games. Thank you for listening, and we will see each other in the second game. Stay tuned, and bye-bye.